let's explore how you can create roles on Discord so that your members have different levels of status and different abilities in terms of what they can and can't do within the server. If you want to create a role, you're going to go over to the left navigational area all the way at the top where your name of your server is. You're going to click on that. It's going to give you a drop down menu. You're going to choose server settings. And then from that left navigational area, the second one down is roles. They created a little animated slideshow giving you ideas, right? So you assign, you create a name for the role, you color code it, and you can choose what that role can do and can't do. So let's do one right here. This ISHA server is going to need moderators, people who look after the community and help take care of it, make sure people are behaving appropriately and treating each other kindly. So let's create a moderator role. I'm going to hit the create role button. First thing it wants me to do is give it a name. Moderator. I'm going to choose a color for that. Let's make it purple. And I can assign, I can give the, it an image if I want. I'm not going to do that right now. Display role members separately from online members. Yeah, let's do that allow anyone to mention this role. So a mention would be if you're trying to get someone's attention, you'd use the at symbol and then you'd list who you're trying to get attention from. So if you needed help from a moderator, that's one way that you could do that. So I'm going to say yes. We're going to we're going to let that happen. Then we're going to go to permissions is the next up top. There are these tabs. So I did the first, the display tab first. Now I'm going to go to permissions. And this is all choosing what this role can and can't do. So can the moderator view channels? Yes. Can they manage channels in terms of creating them, editing, or deleting them? Yes, I want a moderator to be able to do that. Can the moderators manage roles? No, I don't want them being able to create new roles. Can moderators add custom emojis, stickers, and sounds? Yes, that would help the members get more fun usage, so I'm going to let them do that. Can they manage expressions? Yes. Can they view a record of who made which changes in this server? Mm, I don't think they really need to do that. Or webhooks. Or change the server's name or any of that. Nope. I don't, that's like super. That's really important. Like if you're the person really running the server. So we're going to protect that carefully. Can moderators invite new people to the server? Yes. If I trust you enough to be a moderator, I'm going to trust you to help us get our members in here. Can they change their own nickname? Yeah, we'll let them do that. Can they change the nicknames of other members? No, that should be up to the member. Can the moderator kick a member, removing them? Yes, that's part of being a moderator. If people are misbehaving, the moderator needs to be able to kick them. Kick would be like a temporary... If you're kicked, you can be invited back in again. If you're banned, you're gone for good, and moderators will have the ability to do that as well. And the simplest thing would be a, a timeout. If you have a little bit of bad behavior, you can get put in timeout. Moderators would be in charge of that too. Can moderators send messages in text channels? Yes. Can they send messages in threads? Yes. 
Can they create public threads? Yes, again, that's what we want moderators for. Can they create private threads? Um, I'm gonna hold off on that one for now. Can they embed links? Yes. Can they attach files? Yes. Can they add reactions? Yes. Can they use external emojis? Yeah. Can they use external stickers? Yeah. Can they mention people? Yes. Can they manage members? Mm, no, I don't want them deleting messages. Can they manage threads in terms of renaming, deleting, closing? I don't think we're going to use threads right now, so I'm going to leave that off. Threads are a little different than channels. Message history. Yeah, they need to be able to see the message history. Send text to speech messages. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here, isn't there? No, we're going to leave that off. We're going to leave application commands out. They can send voice messages. They can join voice channels. They can talk in voice channels. They can do video in those channels. We're going to leave these other things off for now. We're going to let them mute members so that they can help keep the conversations nice. And move members. That would be like, again, if people are misbehaving, they can create events. They can manage events. There we go. Uh, next tab is links. We don't need to do anything with that right now and we're not managing members yet so that's it save changes down at the bottom and now that role is created so now you can go and assign that role to people i'll show you how we do that now we're going to click back see now we have a role moderator we go escape back to the normal mode. We're going to go to member list. Here's Colin Chapman, part of our communications committee. He has already agreed to be a moderator for the discord server. So I'm going to click on Colin. It brings up his, like his member card, no roles, but there's a plus button. I'm going to click the plus button. The available roles pop up. I click moderator. It has added it. And now Colin has moderator status. All right. And then our other communications committee member, Jobeth Bowers, is also here. I'm going to do the same thing with him. There's Jobeth. He has no roles. I click moderator. Now he has a moderator privilege. And he's good to go. So now. We've got moderators. That's how you create roles and that's how you assign them. I hope this helped.